Gratitude is the ultimate state of creation and attraction. And in this video, we're going to be talking about the power of gratitude, the power of appreciation, and how simply cultivating gratitude in your daily life can have a phenomenal transformative effect in what you create, what you attract, what you manifest, and also in your vitality, in your health, in your mindset, in your attitude. It is one of the most phenomenal shift you can create in your life if you simply do that little exercise I'm about to give you in this video. So stay tuned and let's go. But before we go into the video, guys, I want to thank you for watching those videos. If you are new to this channel or if you come back and you haven't yet subscribed, please subscribe on the channel if you want to see more videos like this. Now, let's go straight into the content. And today, I want to keep it nice, short, simple, to the point. Gratitude is a powerful state. Every state is creative. Whether you're angry, worried, stressed out, whatever it might be, all states, all feelings, all thoughts, all emotions are creative. So you got to get yourself that in your mind. But what I meant by gratitude is the ultimate state of creation is that we all want to attract good things in our life. Right? Let's face it, we all want to better our life somehow. Right? Maybe you want more money, better relationship, better health, something more. Okay, You want to go from A to B, so to speak. And that's what I mean by it's the ultimate state to create what you want in your life. And why is that? Because there's something that's very interesting when it comes to gratitude. When you think about anything that you appreciate in your life right now, anything that you can be grateful for, maybe it's YouTube, maybe it's having internet, maybe it's having that smartphone or that computer or that tablet you're watching this video right now through, okay? If you simply become to appreciate that and you start to let that feeling come up, you can instantly become aware of just how good that feels. So we now know to the Heart Math Institute, we now know that when you're in a state of coherence, when you are in a state of gratitude and appreciation, there is coherence. That means there is the optimum body function between your heart and your brain. There is this kind of synchronicity. So this is the state, almost like a state of flow, where your energy is aligned, is great, is expanding, it's going out. So what does that mean? What it means that when you're in a state of gratitude, not only your body is better, is healthier, is more dynamic, is more alive, but also the way you think. Because how you feel is how you think. It's very hard to think greater than how you feel. So when you cultivate gratitude every single day, when you create a simple habit of every day having a little bit of time, preferably in the morning, and we'll get back to this in a couple of minutes, but when you take that moment to cultivate that gratitude, that appreciation for your life, for what you have right now, for what you want to create, and simply stop seeking, stop chasing, stop warning, stop obsessing, stop trying to figure out how everything's going to go, stop focusing on the problem, stop focusing on the challenges. And just for a moment, or a few moments, or 10 minutes, just appreciate everything that you have. Look around. Pause, look around, look at your life from a different lens, from a different perspective. That alone is a gift. That alone can help you release stress, can help you release worry, anxiety, stress, and all these kind of things can literally go down. Not only that, but your health will go up because we all know that stress impacts our physical health, our vitality, our energy, the way we think, the way we sleep, and so on. Okay? So there are tremendous physical effects, but Think about the benefits of simply doing that every single day and looking at life from a different perspective. No longer thinking through the lenses of lack or not enough or what I need or what I miss in order to be happy, in order to be happy, in order to feel loved and abundant and successful. Because we are always chasing our ego, always love to keep us in that wheel of when then. You know, when I get the money, then I'll be successful. Then I'll be happy. Then everything's going to be okay. But until then... I'm going to be fucking miserable, I'm going to be chasing, I'm going to be hard, and I'm going to need to work at it. And, you know, we go into that loop. So gratitude is the antidote to that ego game. Gratitude is the antidote to stress, to worry, to fear. And that brings tremendous relief. And when you're in that state, your energy shifts, your attitude shifts, your perspective about life shifts. Now you can go around just enjoying the sun, the rain, the flowers, whatever it is around you. Now, I'm insisting and empathizing on that point because that alone is a powerful life change. Success 
or manifesting what you want without happiness, without fulfillment, is the ultimate failure. You may get that person you want, you may get that job, you may get that thing, but if you're freaking miserable, tired, stressed out, anxious all the time, you have failed, at least in my definition of reality, in my definition of success. If you're unable to enjoy the journey and the destination, you have failed miserably because you are always going to be chasing that thing, right? That, that success, that love, that joy, something, someone, someplace, sometime to make you feel that thing. But gratitude is the solution there. Because not only you shift your energy, but you shift how you think, you shift your perspective, but fundamentally you shift your life. Because now you are already whole, full, appreciative of what you want. And when you're in that state, when you are truly in that state of gratitude, and I want to make a little pause here, when you're in truly, genuinely in a state of gratitude, without expectation, simply because you want to, simply because you're taking the time to appreciate. Not doing gratitude because of what I'm going to get. I'm going to be grateful so I can manifest faster. I'm going to be grateful so I can get that thing. That is going to backtrack on you because your subconscious mind always knows what your hidden intentions are. And you're never going to be fully grateful, fully in the moment, if behind your head you are trying to use gratitude as a tool to create something because you're still coming from a place of lack subconsciously. You're still, you're feeling grateful, but at the same time, you're still feeling lacking something to feel even more grateful. So I want you to pay attention there and just give gratitude without expectation. Just give gratitude fully for the moment, for whatever it is that you are appreciating. Always give it fully. That is the moment when you feel whole, full, alive. And when you truly are in that place, what you'll notice is that you don't really want that thing anymore. You, you want it, of course, because it's a desire, but you don't need it. It's not an obsession anymore. It's not a like, oh my God, I really have to have it or I'll be miserable. You know, it's like you're so full that whether that thing happened or not, you know, when you're in that state of gratitude, it doesn't matter. And that is the sweet spot. And I want you to hang with me right here because this is so important to understand when you're in that state when your state of mind when your state of consciousness in this is full is expanding is whole is appreciative this is the ultimate state of gratitude because you have to ask yourself that question what am i attracting in that moment what am i creating in that moment because in the present moment now is the point of power in the present moment you are always creating the next moment and all the other things that will come down in that timeline. So when you're in that state where you're so full now, where you feel like I am lacking nothing, I have everything, I have so much, you become a match for that so muchness. Did you get that? You become a match for so many things. You're so full and life gives you what you are. So whether you're feeling lack, whether you're feeling like there's not enough, whether you're feeling angry, afraid, stressed out, angry, whatever it be, you become a match to that. And if it's habitual, you are going to create a vibrational identity and you're going to start to create situation, synchronicities, things, people, time, places that will trigger you to reactivate that thing and to feel like, see, I'm right. So you're going to perpetuate that belief, that perception, that mindset, that habit that you have to see the world you're going to attract those kind of people, situations and places just so, that you can, just so that you can reconfirm your whole identity and perception of reality. But gratitude is like a railway. You've been going this way for the whole life. You know, you, you've been on autopilot. The train has been set to go on a direction. And now gratitude is that clock will turn. And you're like, you know what? Enough of that. Enough of that real thing. Enough of that unconsciousness. We are gonna create something greater, something better, whatever that may mean to you. And I'm gonna consciously condition myself to feel whole, to feel full, to feel appreciative, to feel thankful. And when you do so, I guarantee you that when you create a habit of doing that every single day, of cultivating gratitude every day, things will change. But it needs to be habitual. It's not about being grateful five minutes a year. <laughs> Or, you know, every now and then I'm going to be grateful for the big things I manifested and only find big gratitude in big things. No, it's also about being able to appreciate the little things that you already have been 
taken for granted for so long. Because you are far richer, not only financially, but far richer in every single aspect of that word, more than you imagine, more than you actually consciously realize and consciously acknowledge. So taking gratitude, taking that thing on in every single day is the best way to start a day. So what I'm inviting you to do as a test, as an experiment, because as always in those videos, it's not about just conceptually understanding this, because that means shit, that means nothing, that, may, that will make no difference in your life. You can conceptually understand something, you can conceptually read all the freaking books here, but if you never apply them, if you never make those tools a habit, a part of who you are, you will never truly be able to experience the benefits of everything that's been taught to you, of everything that you know on an intellectual level. So what I'm inviting you to do is to, to test it for yourself. To test it for yourself, to grab a book, something like this, right? It doesn't need to be fancy or you don't need to buy a freaking $50 gratitude fucking journal. Just get a pen and a paper and every day when you wake up, when you have time in the morning before work or when you arrive at work, whenever it's comfortable for you, write down five to ten things. Maybe start with five if you feel like I don't really have the time, I don't really know what to write. Maybe start with five or five, go to ten, whatever. And really ask yourself, what can I appreciate in my life yesterday or today or last year or in this moment? What do I want to appreciate? And write it down. Don't only just write it down from your head, but write it down from here and feel it here. That's the key. Feeling is the secret. So as you write it down, ask yourself, why can I appreciate this? Why do I appreciate having that car? Why do I appreciate having been on that holiday? Why do I appreciate that breakfast I had? Why do I appreciate my coworkers? Why do I appreciate the amazing weather right now? And let those answers come, whatever the answer may be for you. There's no right or wrong here, but it's about getting that feeling, getting that fullness, getting that richness. And stack it up, one, two, three, four, five, ten things. What a fantastic way to start a day. Think about it. What a fantastic day to start a day instead of worrying, thinking about all the things that need to go, about scrolling on social media, getting jealous, obsessing on whatever. This is life changing. If you commit to do that for at least 30 days, I guarantee you, you will stick with it far longer. But you have to do it. And you have to do it even if after, even if after five days you don't see any result. You got to stick with it. Because sometimes for some people, it's fast. For some people, it takes a little bit longer because it might be the time that you need for you to change that subconscious thing that's been going on for so long in your mind, in your energy, in that clutter. And to be truly able to appreciate life, what you have. And when you do that, you'll see result in your life. You'll see that life will start to give you more things to appreciate and more things to appreciate. As in the Bible, it says, for those who have, more will be given to them. And for those who have not, even what they have will be taken away from them. Life is fair if you understand how to play this game. So that is my message about the creative power of gratitude, guys. I am thankful for you watching. If you feel like subscribing to this channel, do it now, please. Help, thank you for helping me grow this channel. Thank you for coming back, sharing, commenting. I will see you in my next video, guys. Be well.